Hey everybody, thanks for dropping by. I want to talk to you a little bit about this. This is my new Leica M6. Took me a long time to figure out that this is what I wanted and needed. Uh, just a ton of research. You know, I spoke to many people about this. Um, you know, my friends that shoot Leica, um, different websites, you know, giving me all sorts of information. And the film community here in Tokyo is really big. So I'm very thankful that they were able to help me and I was able to just get all sorts of information to help me decide that this is what I wanted. So I have almost a dozen cameras. I've got all these digital cameras. I've got a number of film cameras, you know, rangefinders and SLRs. And I figured, you know what? Enough of the gear acquisition. You know, forget it. You know, I've got enough. I can create with what I have. And so I just said, forget it. I'm not going to get a Leica. And then I was on vacation. And I was shooting with my super cheap light Canon 500N. It was, you know, beautiful. Uh, Fuji color uh, 400H, just wanted to capture the colors of the cherry blossoms, like all the things. So anyway, I finished those rolls and I was like, ah, oh, I'm gonna shoot some black and white. So I went to this camera store that was near me and I walk in there and I see all the beautiful vintage cameras and you know, all sorts of new rigs as well. And I, I grab my film, take it up to the counter and then I'm like, uh, there's a Leica on the shelf in the cabinet. And it was exactly what I was looking for. And it was a really good price. Much cheaper than Tokyo. And all the other online stores in Tokyo that I've been looking at. You know, maybe, you know, they knew what they had. But, you know, COVID times have been hard for this business. I have no idea. All I knew is that throughout all my research, this is what I wanted. Something said, you know what, like, see what they say about this camera. So the guy got it out for me, tells me a little bit about it, you know, he shows me if there are any scuff marks on it, you know, and really there, there's nothing wrong with this camera. There's been barely used, you know, when you put the lens on the camera itself, there's a little friction there. Even that, the metal to metal, there's really no, no marks at all. So this camera's barely been used. And I look at my wife and I said, you know what, if I don't get this, I'm just gonna kick myself later and I'm not gonna find a deal like this again. So anyway, I pulled the trigger and it was actually one of the best decisions I made. And oh, he had all these other lenses there too and I had been researching lenses and he had the particular one I wanted. So double win, it was a good price for that lens too. Anyway, I walked out of there with this camera and put that film in and the XP2 by Ilford is sort of my thing. I know what it does. I know what it's going to you know, show me. I love its creamy uh, contrasts. I love the fine grain. So I put that in there and I set out and uh, I took these shots.
So I hope you dug all those photos. You know, a ton of research went into getting this and the few links are down below so you can check some of the websites that I went to to help me with that. But anyway, regardless, this is going to challenge me. This is the thing that is going to keep me super creative. And I really appreciate that. And after, you know, shooting for so long, you know, I want a new set of challenges. What can I do? And this is it. So anyway, I hope you like what you saw. Uh, come back for more photos and more talk about this camera. And uh, thanks for dropping by. We'll see you later.